Hello everyone, you're welcome to the School Owners Forum, Nigeria's largest training network of school owners, of teachers, of education stakeholders, of everyone generally, because we always say on SOF that education business is everyone's business. Now, this class is uh, what we always have every week, and it is on lock with me, David Adeniji. Today's class is going to be exciting. We have uh, been announcing it. We are looking at how to use Thinkerly school management software. How to use Thinkerly school management software. Thinkerly is Nigeria's largest uh, school management software, and we have announced it all across all uh, across every platform i'd like you to sit back relax and then we continue once again this is unlock with me david adeniji <music> Now, what is Thinkerly? Thinkerly is a school management software and e-learning platform. School management software and e-learning platform. And uh, uh, it has been in use for quite a number of years. We have a good number of follow uh, of users, schools, teachers, uh, uh, students, parents, everyone. Let me just talk to everyone on the platforms that the class is started, we have started, we have started the class all right so you kindly click on this link uh, and you join the class uh click that link all right okay so what we have been saying this is thing color and then we're going to be taking us through all of the modules of Thinkerly, we're going to be taking us through how to use Thinkerly, how to use it to achieve uh, all of your digital uh, school management needs in your school. Now, first of all, let me show you. There will be not there will not be too much advert today because uh, we are going deep right in, especially for everyone who just joined some of our platforms. If you have not heard about Thinkerly before, Thinkerly is Nigeria's largest uh, school management software. The, the the website is thinkerly.net. I'm going to show you right now. Uh, let me just show you a list of the things we are going to be. Uh, uh looking at today let me show you what we are going to be looking at we are going to be looking at all right right this is it all right so we will we'll be looking at how to use thinkerly setting up your thinkerly portal we'll look at how to sign up we'll look at the verification of account we'll look at signing in set up uh setting up your settings adding parents adding classes adding teachers adding students and preparing results sheet now it doesn't end here but this uh, particular class this uh, uh training will get you started very quickly into using thinkerly school management software so i'd like you to relax while we continue right now we're going to start from uh how to let us start from how to sign up because a lot of people have been asking how do we sign up how do we sign up uh how do we sign up how do we uh open an account on thinkerly how do i open an account on thinkerly for uh, for my school so and the process is very easy very very easy i tell you it's something we are going to see right now all right are you ready all right okay so let us go into it very quickly. So how do we sign up? There is this sign up link we're going to send to you. You know, the moment you, I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you the face of the Thinkerly website. Look at the Thinkerly website uh, for you to know that uh, a lot of things are involved. Look at the Thinkerly website. Somebody is asking me what are the features of Thinkerly. You can easily go to this website and go to features. Uh, the, the, look at the Thinkerly features. We have see all features. Let's even talk about those features in a bit, in a moment. So we're even going to help you uh, with a free setup. We'll help to, we'll to set up, set up your account. Uh, even if you have been using another another school management software before, the, the interactive uh, dashboard, the cleaning dash, dashboard, look at it. I, I hope you're seeing my screen right now. Let me enlarge it. You know, you're going to be, we are looking at uh, graphical charts, students portal, teachers portal, Parents portal, video links, upload, Excel uploads of bulk data. You know, uh, I hope you are seeing my screen right now. Okay, yeah. 
Excel online results, online exams, timetables, dynamic grading system, exams management, online assignment, income and expenditure records, auto invoicing or bills and receipts, uh, uh, online payment, you know, emails, electronic notes and document uploads, library management, complete control over your account. So you owe, you control your account. We are not going to be controlling for you. You are free to create, to delete classes, subject, uh, add teachers, add parents, add uh, student, media sharing. You can think like I be your file manager, you know, inventory management, asset management, over 50 different reports, bills, reports, uh, uh, results sheet, uh, tabulation sheet, uh, broadsheet, and all of that. A lot of uh, syllabus management, visitor management, complaint management, salary template system, explainer training videos, reports, dedicated system, certificate generator, Android mobile app, uh, iOS mobile app, uh, uh, scratch cards, 24-7 support. And you see, the list is just endless. Thinkala is so huge. You just have everything you need in one place. And that is what Thinkalai is all about. That is what this class is also all about. We want to show you how to use uh, how to use Thinkalai. You know, when you are able to use Thinkalai, you are, you are solving a lot of problems in your school. Some of, uh, some of the problems you have, uh, that are the things you have been doing manually before, uh, you are going to be able to do all of that now with the with the Thinkalai school management software. All right. Uh, is anybody with me online right now? Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, just drop it on the chat box. You have the chat box there. You can take uh, make use of that chat box. And if you're online, let me know. Let me know where you are watching from, the school you represent. Okay, you are watching from Abuja. You are following from Pohakot. You are following from uh, Benin City. You are following from all around the nation. Even we have people following from Ghana, from Mozambique, from Benin Republic. I mean, it's from all other uh, stations, all other countries, you are going to be, uh, you are following us live right now. All right. So this is, uh, once again, uh, unlock with me, David Adeniji, and the class is titled how to use Thinkalai school management software. Uh, let's go for this short pick. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. We are back to Think Ally. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is the first thing we are going to look at. Let me show you. We're going to look at how to sign up uh, into the school management software, how to sign up into Think Ally school management software. Now, when you are interested, if you are interested in this software, in this package, uh, just let us know. Send us a chat. Send us a message. Join our WhatsApp groups. You are going to see the phone numbers. Even you can pick this phone number on the screen right now. Look at this. If you look at uh, just by the bottom left of my name, you see the phone number, send us a chat. You need the sign up link. We're going to send it to you. You're going to click that sign up link. And then when you click the sign up link, it takes you directly onto the sign up, uh, onto the sign up page. When you sign up, you'll be able to do so many things. Uh, you're going to be able to, to, to solve all of your uh, school's digital needs using Thinkerly School Management Software. Isn't that wonderful? It's so wonderful. That is what we're going to be doing right now. So let us quickly go through into the class and uh, we will look at how to sign up men's software. Does anybody have the link? Do you all have the link? Okay. Uh, if you have the link, I think uh, many people are already, uh, are, uh, many, many people have uh, been trying to sign up with the link and uh, some people are asking questions. No problem. Your questions, all your questions are going to be answered in this very, very class. All right. So let us move in right away. Do you have the sign up link? Let me just get the sign up link while we continue very quickly. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So I have the sign up link here. Uh, let me just open up the sign up link. Okay. Okay. All right. So good. I have clicked the sign 
sign up link. Let me show you. Uh, let me show you the sign up link. So if you need the sign up link, don't worry, just call for it. We're going to give it to you. Okay. Okay. All right. So you see, this is a link. You see, on this link, all you need to do is uh, look at it. The school name. Uh, let me see the school name. Let me put uh, David Adeniji School. Uh, the school owner, you know, so school owner's phone number. Of course, these are company phone number. The, the email address, the username. Mm, that's my own username. <laughs> okay, username. All right, and then the school address. Well, that's let me just put that something small. All right, okay. The next thing you click, you click create account. Wow, <laughs> oh, my account has been created. It says you're actually created. Please click the link in your mail to verify your account. I hope you have seen my screen. It said, uh, Click the link in your mail to verify your account. Please don't, don't sign in yet. Many people are trying to sign in bef bef before verifying their account. If you try to sign in, you, you will not be granted access. So let me, uh, all I will do now is to, uh, is to go and sign in. Uh, let me just get a, a, let me just enter into my, my Gmail address that I have provided there you know i put on my gmail address i'm going to go into that address and go and verify my account all right uh okay this is it i'm in it i'm in it i'm in it right now can i show you of course why not i can show you let me show you my e my gmail address i've gone to my email address right now and i'm going to just uh look for the verification link that has just been sent. All right. Okay. Who oh, is there already? <laughs> Very quick. All right. Think alike. Look at it. Says verify your account. Verify your account. So it says verify your account. So let us verify my account right now. I click on verify account. So click here to verify your account. Look at it. So I will. The moment you click it. It opens you, it leads you straight into the dashboard. That's the beautiful thing about Thinkalai. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is it. That is it. We are in a class already. That is it. So I'm trying to verify my account right now. Okay. So let me let me verify the account. Let me verify. Okay, yeah. Sorry, we I have verified my account. The next thing to do, what do I need to do? So let us go. If you now need to, to sign in, somebody is asking, now that I have signed up, what if I need to sign in? Okay, what is the, what's going to be the signing process? What's going to be the signing process if I need to sign in? If I need to sign in into that uh, dashboard on my own without, with, will I always go and uh, uh, click the verification link? No. So you remember the username and password that you used when you were signing up, right? Do you remember? I remember mine. That's why when you are signing in, take note of your username and your password, okay? I, I still remember mine. This is it here, you know. This is it. All right, that is the username and password with which I signed in. The username and password with which I signed in. So I'm, I'm already signing in right now. I think we are done with that process. Let us go to the next stage of our of our training so let me go to that my uh powerpoint slide and show you what is the next thing what's the next thing the next thing is sign setting up of settings good so i'm now going to go into my settings and set up the settings all right let me go back to think color think color is where we are all right this is my dashboard you go to settings see settings here you go to general settings you know, general settings. Oh, you know, there are some a few things you need to set up in that place. Set up site title. The site title is the name of your school, David Adeniji School. Your phone number, you know, your email, the email, your school email. Uh, that is the own uh, email. Put your address, uh, put your footer can just be your, your logo or your school name again. Uh, okay. 
and then the, your, your currency code, currency code for the country you are. You can Google that. Every con country has its own country. Uh, every country has its own currency code. And this one is for those who are going to be making use of the uh, accounting package. Your currency symbol, uh, you know, language enable. Leave every th other thing the way they are. But you need to select your academic year. You, of, course, of course, select the current academic year. Uh, leave that one default attendance system. Def select attendance, system, of course. Select this one per day wise attendance. Uh, a few other things should remain the way they are. What are your weekends? Your weekends are Saturdays and Sundays. You know, next time begins. Leave those ones. Leave that your logo. You may not. You may. If you have to upload logo, make sure the logo is less than two hundred and fifty KB. I think I should leave that like that. Uh, let, it's, it's not composite. You can put it. You may not. But somebody is having some issues with this one. Capture, enable, or disable. Please, when you disable the capture, you will not to. If you leave it at enable, you it, you, you will cast to enter recapture site key and recapture secret key. So leave this one as enable, and then there you go. Upload update settings. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, I wasn't showing my screen. Let me let me show my screen for you to see that part. It wasn't showing. The screen was not showing. Uh, okay, this is it. All right. Let me show. So, so let's go through that again. This is the general settings. Site title: David Adeniji. Phone number: You fill it. Email address: You fill it. Uh, uh, your address: You fill it. Your footer: Put your school name there. You know, put your school name on the footer. Again, somebody is saying, uh, instead of showing your picture, let's see the working dashboard, sir. All right, that's what I'm doing. That was a, a hitch. Uh, I've corrected it. I think my dashboard is showing right now, you know. All right, so so that's uh, the footer. The I said currency code. Your currency code is, you can Google it. Every country has its own currency code. Then the currency symbol, put it there. Leave most, of our, most, other, most other things the way they are. Language enabled. That is ability to change from English. You can use French. This thing can show in French. You know, there are, there's a symbol here that helps you change language depending on, on the country that you are in. You understand? Okay, look at it for, but I said this one is compulsory. Academic year is compulsory. Pick the current academic year, which is 2020, 2021, or depending on the one you are, you are, you are into in your country. Uh, default attendance, just pick per day wise attendance most of our things leave them the way they are weekend should be here yeah, of course you pick your weekend sunday uh saturday and sunday you know what else what else what else google analytics is not compulsory leave that one your logo is not compulsory but if you have to upload logo let it be less than 250 kb you understand number of times school open uh it's not compulsory for now when you are about to set up your your report sheet you're going to put that next time be begins it's not compulsory for now also when you are about to set your uh sorry when you're about to set your your report sheet you put that number a uh, show class position now do you want position to show on the report sheet yes or no do you want subject position to show yes or no you know do you want uh this one's show subject position somebody is talking to me again what are they saying somebody says click on the verification link sent to your mail it will direct you to the colorful dashboard we have done that in the uh, yeah so if you want uh what do you mean by CAS? That is a CAS is a class average score. Do you want to it to show on the report sheet? Uh, but it's default. Leave all the default settings. But another important one I must show you here is this capture. If you leave the capture as enabled, it will ask for a capture key. But you should disable it. It's not needed. So when you have done that, you update your settings. Update your settings. Uh, it's updating settings right now. Success. Good. Uh, we are good to go. I hope everyone is seeing me. You know, you are seeing the screen. So we are good to go. Is there anybody who has any question to ask? Somebody is saying you are doing well, fully following. Very good. Uh, I believe I, I, I am streaming in uh, on the school owners forum group also. Yeah, it's there. It's there. You know, it's there. It's there. I've been streaming there all along, you know. So let me say hello to the people on Facebook. Facebook, if you are watching from Facebook, kindly say hello. Just say hello that you are watching from Facebook. That is on the School Owners Forum Facebook page. Yeah, it's there. It's live. We are there. We are there on the School Owners Forum streaming live over there right now. All right. Okay. 
Oh, okay. So let's continue. Let's continue as we have uh, we have gone a bit far. We will not stop. We will continue. All right. What is the next stage? What's the next thing to go into? Let us check our manual. Let's check our, <laughs> our manual. What is the next thing we want to do? We want to. Uh, okay. What's the next thing? Now we have done sign up. We have done verification of account. We have done signing. I've shown you how to sign in. You know, if you want to sign in on your own, uh, have I shown you how to sign in? Let me show you how to sign it. You know, let me show you how to sign it. So let's say you don't want to go and click the link in the uh, in the, the verification. You cannot be clicking the verification link all the time. So if you want to sign in on your own, you want you want to sign in on your own without the verification link, of course. Because, so you can just uh, sign out. Let me now show you the link. The link is uh, thinkerly, you know, dot net slash SCH. Is somebody seen it? Let me make it uh, uh, wide. Okay. Sorry. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Thinkerly.net slash SCH. I hope somebody is getting it there. Thinkerly. Check that address bar. Look at the address bar very well. Thinkerly.net slash SCH. Thinkerly.net slash SCH. Oh, uh, okay. Let me try and type it so that... Uh, you will see thinkerly, okay, dot net slash sch. Okay, somebody wants to see it very well. Look at it. Uh -huh. I'm showing you right now. Let me just share my screen to the PowerPoint slide where I just wrote it. Thinkerly dot net slash sch. Look at it. Is somebody seeing it right now? I believe you are seeing it. Good. Thinkerly.net slash SCH. That is the link to visit if you need to sign up. I mean, sorry, if you need to sign in after you have already uh, signed up. Somebody talking to me again. Let me see. Can I get uh, a full video of this tutorial to download for later? Uh, of course, why not? The video is online. We are streaming it. It's on Facebook. It's on our YouTube page. Please kindly go to my YouTube page. Click that link that was sent. Uh, uh, that this link. Click this link. Uh, that was sent later, you know, on this link, you can even watch it on this link. And when you get to that link, subscribe to that page. Click the red subscribe button and the bell button also. You understand? Let us move very quickly. What is the next thing to do? What is the next thing on our, on our, uh, on, our on our manual that we are following? Look at it. This is the next thing to do our account we have signed in we have done done our setting set up settings let's now move to add parents now i want you to understand that this is the correct flow of adding data don't start by adding students don't look for how to add classes the correct flow is for you to start by adding uh by adding uh parents so what who are the first set of uh, stakeholders you are going to add the first set of stakeholders you are going to add are your parents so let's can we just kindly go and add our parents this class is a one hour class in the by the end of this one hour i tell you you should be able to maneuver your way around thing color so easily and so swiftly you should be able to maneuver your way around thing color so easily and so swiftly you should be able to uh, maneuver your way around thing color so easily and uh, so swiftly all right you should be able to maneuver your way around thing like so easily and so swiftly let's go to add uh, parents on our school management software portal right now all right this is uh okay let me go back to think alike think alike think alike think alike is here i'm i'm not going to sign in right now oh can i sign in with the account i just created why not i'm doing that right now you know okay so i just put my username and i put my password and i go to click look at the dashboard by the, the menu by the left you see parents you know you see parents you say add parents uh, okay so you start filling that maybe the first parent is uh, mr and uh, mrs uh, mrs uh, great okay father's name mr great 
mother you see you pick father's birthday of course pick the right birthday i'm just going to pick something here mother's name is uh mrs uh great i just i don't want to waste time so i just picked something random here you know father's profession banker mother's profession baker email address you must pick a good email address make sure your email address is correct otherwise the system will not take it the phone number of the father or the family address just put your correct address whatever data you gather here is good it's, it's going to be useful for your school uh, photo is not compulsory you can pick it later anytime you are uploading an image make sure it's less than uh it's less than 200 kb make sure it's less than two or uh, 250 kb all right so let us continue uh let us continue very quickly let's continue very quickly have i picked uh, have i selected parent all right, so username, you're going to create a username for that parent. Maybe make that username grade one. Their password also can be grade one. Then you add parents. So I will not add more than one parent, but you, and you don't even need to add all the parents in your school. Uh, in the beginning, you can add one parent and assign that same parent to all students so to make it work fast. But that's not advisable. You should add all the parents so that you have their data. I'm just giving you all easy ways to doing it. The next thing is uh, after you have added the uh, parent, let's go and look at our manual again. When you have added parents, what's the next thing to do? You you then add uh, your, who are the next set of stakeholders? You add class. Let's add class. You know, let's add class. After we have added parents, somebody is saying, uh, my verification is not taking me to the dashboard. This is where it stops each time I try. Uh, it's maybe... Uh, your verification well we're going to solve that later <laughs> let's solve that later let me go and add class look at it class is found under the menu item called academic you know class is found under the menu item called academic let me show you my thing color screen i hope uh i hope i you were seeing how i added parent let me uh okay i have added parent let me now add add class this is add class i said class is under the menu item menu item called academics you see it so i'm going to click add class somebody talking to me again can i answer that question all right okay look at this class maybe yes yes there's one class maybe what has the first class class numeric is a uh, maybe the order you know you can order your classes Kindergarten can be zero, nursery uh, one can be one, nursery two can be two, no, primary one can be three. Just order your classes like that. On my class numeric, maybe yes, this one is O nine. I don't know. You just a numbering, you know. Uh, teacher's name, teacher's name. Look at it. Look at it now. That means we're even wrong. <laughs> you know, teacher should be added first. So you add at least one teacher because every class will have a teacher. So let me add teacher. Let me quickly, you see that uh, there was no teacher to select here, you know. So let me add a teacher. Let me add a teacher. Okay. Teacher can be Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. George. Mr. George is a teacher. The signature, the signation teacher. Date of birth, you know, just pick one, uh, some, a good date of birth for the teacher. The teacher is male. The teacher's, uh, email address you must put a correct email address don't put a wrong email address or otherwise to bounce it off you know, maybe that's the phone number of the teacher you know when did the teacher join today the photo if you are uploading a picture it should be less than 250 kb but if you are not it's not compulsory the username of the teacher is uh okay what's the name you can just form a username for the teacher george one so george one all right go okay there was an error george one already exists maybe george two now <laughs> uh george two all right let's see did he go through yes oh no not yet address or oh, we do not put the address of the teacher all right did that go through right now that's success message good 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 uh if i come back here Okay, okay. If I come back here right now, and uh, so I, I hope you were looking at how I was, how I was uh, entering the teacher. I think there was a there was an issue there. You didn't see how I entered the teacher. Let me show you how I entered the teacher. 
uh, this is it this is how i enter the teacher and this is the form i fill this is the form i fill sorry i wasn't showing you the tab the other time so this is a tab you put you fill the form correctly for the teacher it's not compulsory you fill all the fields you know the composite fields have been marked in red you understand so when you add the teacher yeah that means you are good to go let's now go back to where we wanted to add class to where we wanted to add class you know this is where we wanted to add class you now see that uh why trying to add class the class is just as one class numeric is uh, maybe three you now select the teacher is appearing now the teacher is mr george note uh you can say yes this one class uh teacher is not compulsory you know add him uh, you now add the teacher success somebody is talking to me again S somebody says this could be uh, due to your yes yeah, somebody's having or oh, fix your connection issues because everything is working fine you know all right so we have added uh parent we have added teacher we have added class the next thing to add is section, section. Somebody says section, you know, section is still under academic. Section is, is like the arm, you know, where you have JSS1, JSS1, Ruby, JSS1, Emerald. So section is just talking about uh, the arms of the class, you know. It's also the same process, section. You can give the session the same name uh, as the class. Essentially, you can give the session the same name as the class category, the same thing, you know, capacity. Now, that's the, this is why you now specify the number of uh, children or learners that should be in that class. Let me put a uh, uh, 50, you know, class. You select the class. Uh, yes, this class for that session is, is, is just as one. Then you select the teacher again, uh, George. And so you can still put a note. It's not compulsory. JSS1. You then add section. All right. Good success. We are moving. We are moving. <laughs> I hope somebody is following me right now. If you have any questions, you either drop it on the chat room or drop it uh, on the WhatsApp group, drop it on the Facebook link, uh, drop it anywhere. We are going to pick it from anywhere you drop it. All right. Are we moving on? I believe we are moving on. All right. Is, is that, does anybody have a question here right now? Any question? Any question? Any question? Any question, any question, no question. All right. If there's any question you can ask, we will definitely attend to it. All right. I so believe I, I, I am streaming in uh, uh, on the Chrome group also. Yeah, it's there. It's there. You know, it's there. All right. Let us continue now. Uh, we continue now. This is at, the, at this point, we can now add. Uh, this is the point where we can now add students. We have done all that setup. You see, uh, but before we ask to then, I'd like you to hang in there. Uh, we'll go on this very short break. By the time we come back, we complete this whole thing. By the time we are done with this one hour class, you should be able to set up Thinkalai uh, uh, completely and it will work for you. Once again, this is Unlock with me, David Adeniji. And today's class is how to use Thinkalai school management software uh, in your school. How to use Thinkalai school management software. I'll be right back. Many of us use school management software that limit us in one way or the other because they, they have not been upgraded to uh, meet present global trends. Now you need to switch to Thinkalai. Thinkalai is Nigeria's largest school management software. Switch to Thinkalai. To, it won't take you more than hours. We will do the switch for you. So it manages all your operations, admissions, exams, timetables, e-learning, online classes, just name it, bulk SMS, everything is in it. Online exam, CBT. So switch to Thinkalai school management software to this. So you can go to thinkalai.net. That is thinkalai, thinkalai.net. Go there and check the features. All right, so let's move very quickly. We are not going to stop. Let's move very quickly to Thinkalai uh, tab. Now, that's the Thinkalai tab. Uh, just let me show myself by the left there so you see me also. Okay, let the next thing we want to do, look at it. Look at this side. Look at this place. I want to show you this logo by the third, by the top, uh, by the top left. You, you know, it's the logo of your school. You can, you can easily fill that logo. This is where to fill that logo. You know, we didn't pick it. That's why it isn't there. If we wanted to pick it, we would pick it, you know? 
uh this is where you you fill that logo you upload that logo uh do we have that logo right now uh, okay let me look for a logo and put so that you'll be seeing the logo there too is it uploading is it uploading oh yes it is upload good can you see the logo now there by the top left it has your school logo so let me now click on student i want to add student straight away i'm not going to waste any time anymore i'm just going to add student <clears throat> right now all right let, let let's see let's add student before but before i add student something small i need to quickly uh show you right now you know when you before you ask them make sure you get all the data of the students available you know data like name their date of birth their parents details and uh, their class and uh, all of that so you make sure that uh, all the all the sorry make sure that the data for adding the students uh, is available so we have the data i think we are going to we're not going to waste time at that at all because immediately after adding students i'm going to show you how to how to uh, prepare their report sheet because you know this term of course every term there's something people do uh more frequently on every school management software and think Kali does it best that's why we're encouraging you to use uh think Kali. so the name of the child maybe remember that we have initially or uh, re registered the child's parent you know you must have done all parents like that okay the child is maybe uh james uh, great sorry james great okay select guardian that's the, the guardian is called guardian here date of birth of the parents of the child sorry put it there you know look at these other fields they are not compulsory but so you don't need to fill blood group uh you you need to you know but it's not compulsory you know you go down to the ones that is, uh, compulsory here the class of the child is a class we have created the other time the section which is the arm is the same you know admission number here you must carefully uh arrange your admission number don't just pick random admission number prepare it on the paper you know you can prepare a format my own school is david Adenji school that is das so you can give this child das uh slash zero zero one or whichever way you want to put it that's the admission number the role is the post the the, the number of the child in class not position but you know if you have 20 children in a class you can just number it, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. So for this child, maybe child is the first one in the class. So you can also put the image of the child if you have it. You can do it later. Extracurricular activities, not compulsory for here. Remarks, not compulsory for here. Username of the child. Yes, every child must have a unique username and password. Remember that when we created the teacher also, the teacher had his own uh, username and use to log in into the system later. Do you get it? All right, so usually I like to give the child or the every user, I like to give them uh, uh, this, this this student here. I like to give the child or the user, uh, the student, the same username as uh, as their admission number. Okay, so make sure you select uh, a good password for them. So let's see, let's see, it's rolling. Yeah, good. That's done. The, the, the student has been uploaded. You see that we are working very fast. The teacher is easy. It's easy. You can easily understand and uh, uh, set up your system in a matter of days, uh, even in one day, you know, if you have all the data already. The next thing we are going to do now is uh, let us prepare uh, a results, a results sheet. You know, of course, uh, the students will have written examination. The, the teachers have their uh, results, uh, their, their scores. They want to upload their scores. Think I makes it very easy. But you see, for that stage, I will log out of this my David Energy School account, and I will log in into another account that already has subjects created. You know, because before you do that, look at you go to academics. You see, you create subjects. You have to create subjects. There is the add subjects form. This is a link. You create subjects. So when you have created all, you create all your subjects. You will notice that each subject you have to assign the classes taking them. Assuming we had more than one class here you select all the classes taking that subject you also select all the teachers that are take, teaching that subject and then you fill up pass mark is uh the the lowest mark for which a child will have uh, deemed that uh, he has not failed and the final mark is the total mark you know the subject name put the name of the subject the subject author can be the teacher teaching or anything at all while the subject code if the subject is math you can say mth 
101, something like that. It's any code you like. It is that code that will be used to represent the subject on the report sheet. Are you getting it? No, so let me log out of this account while uh while I log in into another account that has uh data of students that are more than this one, so I don't want to waste time. All right, so I'm logging in into another account right now. This account has already already has students created. This is another school now. You see, this account already has a uh, 16 parent, uh 21 students, uh, 32 teachers, 11 classes, and all of that. You see, it already has all those uh, uh details fully prepared. You know, I'm just trying to make it uh, uh look bigger. All right. So if you want to upload max, what do we do? How do we upload max? Very easy very easy where do you go you go to exams first you go to exam you create the exam you know every see look at it on this page we have created first time exam it is passed we have created second time exam it is passed we have created third time exam it is passed you see all these other ones you saw you see the new examination demo examination those ones are they are just for testing purposes you know you have three examinations in a session right at least for most schools you have uh and if it's a polytechnic or a university, you, your own will be two examinations, you know? All right, so we have first time, second time, third time. That's, this is where you create it. You create the exam first. After creating the exam, the exams, look at the link for creating the exam. The exams have been created here. So you now go ahead to what we call MAC. There's something we call MAC distribution. MAC distribution is a, what are the MAC distributions you have on your repository? For most schools, it is CA and exam. Some people will have CA1, CA2, CA3 before exam. You No problem. Create your own. So look at it. Add mark distribution. So you now look at it. Mark distribution type CA. What is the to final ability? The maximum score that is the max obtainable. 40. You know, you create it. I, have, I will not create anyone again. Yeah, it's been created. Then you add exam to mark distribution exam. You put the score. Six, uh, the max obtainable 60 you know or whatever it is in your school think color does not limit you after you, you you decide what you want on your report sheet after adding the mark distribution the next thing is to now go i hope you are still following all right the next thing after adding the max distribution you now go to max you see mark that is where the teachers will now add the max <laughs> the teacher will now add the max here yeah, it's very easy you know add a mark you see you select the exam for this exam let us uh, select third time exam you know select the class uh, maybe let us select jss2 now section same jss2 subject maybe let me now select a subject like, select subject like music and now click add mark the next thing you see it opens up this form so you fill it fill it fill you know fill it fill the test fill the exam fill the test fill the exam, fill the test, fill the exam, and so on for all the students. You click add marks. Wow, this is getting interesting. You click add marks, you know, all right? Uh, you click add marks. After clicking add marks, you, that's why you, you do the same process. You know that at this stage now, it is the teacher that has signed in. So don't forget that teachers are to do it themselves. So as you have created... Uh, username and password. When you, the moment you create a teacher, I tell you, if the email address of the teacher is valid, the teacher will receive an alert in his email containing his uh, uh, username and password. So teachers will have to, subject teachers will have to enter all this. And when they are done, they are done. Now, let us now see how the report sheet will look like. But before then, you need to go uh, to settings, general settings, and activate uh, those mark distribution that you created you see here it's already activated the mark distributions we create if you don't click it actually if you had not uh click this mark distribution it will not appear on the mark page this should have been done before you go and enter the marks you know so mark distribution you click mark ca and exam use update settings that is when it will appear on this page oh, if you didn't click that, it will not appear. It will not appear on this page uh, where you have uh, marks here. It will not have appeared, you know. But thank God, I'm showing you. Uh, so you now see how to add that. Should we see how the report card, the result sheet looks like? 
Would you like to see how uh, the result sheet looks like? Let me show you how the result sheet looks like. The result sheet is very, very interesting, very wonderful result sheet like that. I tell you, Thinkalai does it better. Thinkalai is not just a so foreign software. Most of the other school management software are foreign software. They are not built for the Niger for the African market, African school system. But Thinkalai was built after so much research. So everything you need is there. Everything you need is there. Yeah, let me look at my outline again and see and make sure that I am on course. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. On my outline, I have signed up. I have done verify the account. I have signed in, set up settings, add parent, add class. Actually, you add teachers before class. You add teachers before class. Let me uh, let's uh, correct this. All right. Okay. So let me correct it. You add teachers before class. Yes, you have teachers before class. So our students have done that. Now, prepare result sheet. It is under preparation of result sheet. That's where you see. Uh, let me show you my uh, my screen again. Yeah, you are seeing my screen. It is under preparation of result sheet that you now, you go and create mark distribution. After creating mark distribution, you go to general settings and activate the mark distribution. After doing that, you now go back to mark and the, you start uploading the mark, select the class, select the exam, select the subject, and you begin to type in the number, CA, exam, uh, depending on how many mark distributions you created. Somebody is asking something. Ah, good to be here. Ah, all right, you're welcome. All right, so let us now uh, take a look at the report sheet. The report sheet is under the module called report. You will see an item called terminal report. Terminal report will help you to see the result of uh, first term, second term, third term. Look at it. Uh, look at. Let, let me just show you. Let me show you uh, the report sheet, result sheet, how it looks like. It's Look at it. Wow. Okay, this one, you have only one subject entered here. Let us pick a... Uh, another class like gss2 let's pick say gss2 okay good look at a few of these are uh, let's just assume that this school is still on in the process of uploading the result look at the logo of the school the name of the school the name of the child of course that's not a picture of a child but no problem you understand it look at position in class it's not compulsory you can turn it off in general settings you know look at subject position also so look at subject position here or also all right. Oh, let me show you. <laughs> okay, let me show you. Somebody is saying I wasn't sharing my screen there. Okay. All right. So can you now see it? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Let me sh let, let me show you very well again. Let me show you uh, to to see the result sheet. I have already uploaded the result. Uh, let's now see result sheet. You go to report the module call report. Under it, you look at terminal terminal report. You know terminal report. You know, after that, you, you select an exam, you select the exam, you select a class, and then you select the section, and boom, it shows you the report sheet. Look at how the report sheet looks like. Somebody is talking to me again. Someone says, I tried to uh, order that later. <laughs> you know, this is the logo. This is the school name. This is child's uh, picture. And then this is, uh, these are the subjects. Look at the position in class, position in class. You know, if you don't need it, you can turn it off in general setting. Look at subject position. If it's, you don't need it, you can turn it off in general settings. That was why I showed you. Look at all what you have here. CHS, TAS, those are CHS is class highest score, class average score. You can actually change all of that. If you don't want them to appear on the result sheet, you can change all of that here. You can change it here. Look at this is where you turn it off or turn it on, turn off or turn on class position here, turn off or turn on subject position here, turn off or turn on class highest score, class average score, and class lowest score. You will notice our class lowest score is turned off here. That was why on the result sheet, uh, that was why on the result sheet, it wasn't appearing. You know, it, it isn't appearing on the result sheet because it 
a stand off let me show you that result sheet again everyone all right so section you select it you see everything you need on a resource sheet is on think color even psychomotor skills you see psychomotor and affective skills look at it if you want to create this psychomotor and affective skills very simple <laughs> very simple should i show you let me show you how to create a uh, psychomotor and affective skills on a particular module here called child you have uh, activities you know you first of all uh, go to activity category so you create a category already we have three categories here behavior psychomotors creator you can create only one and so you create the activity category this is how to create it i will not create another one because i have we have already created three you know so after creating the category you now go and click activities proper so you uh you 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 you, you now click click any of these uh activity categories and then you create you create it so these are the ones already there created if you want to create any new one you create you click one of these and then you say you fill up this form you create the activity category that is how you create all the activity categories when you have uh, sorry all the activities the moment and what are activities activities are those items under your uh psychomotor skills on, on your report sheet those are the activities when you have created how you grade it how do you grade it very simple go to the student page again you know you have to grade it for each child uh display the child you know each uh, each class you know so you you, you know, click on this uh green button to view the child view the child then on this place you look at a tab called skill this tab <laughs> this is where you begin to fill it here you are able to fill it between zero between one and five this is where you fill it you fill it you fill it you fill each of these activities and you submit that's it the moment you submit you go back to your report sheet mm -hmm. Go back to your terminal report. That's what I call it here. Terminal report. You know, click on it. You display it. You know, think like it's got everything covered. I tell you, it's got everything covered. Look at it. Look at the psychomotor or affective skills. It's appearing. If you don't want it to appear, don't feel it. As long as you feel it, if you don't feel it for the child, it won't appear. But if you feel it, it will appear. You understand? I believe that we have a covered a lot of milestone in this class this is the basic every other thing you need there are tutorials that cover all there are what i tell you there are tutorials that cover all look at it look at the button to click if you need to watch any tutorial at all right there inside thinkerly you have a right there inside thinkerly you have a button here for tutorials see the button see this button I hope you can see my screen. See that button, C tutorial. The moment you click, you you are taken to the tutorial page. Let me show you. It has opened that page on a new tab. So I'm going to show you that uh, page on a new tab. Look at it. I hope you are, look at the 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 the. the view. Video tutorials and also uh, talk to our support. We have live support. One good thing about Thinkala is the moment you sign up, we there is a, a, a support agent assigned to your school. So you have nothing to worry. There's a support agent. If you as long as it's between work hours 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., you talk to them, they are going to solve the issue. If they need to uh, arrange video calls like you to teach you that, so there's no those, some people are saying, when will you come and train her? We, there's no physical training, you don't need it, it's an online package. With video calls like this, uh, you, you'll be talking to ourselves back and forth, uh, and then we will be able to solve all the issues uh, that you may be having. Everything's covered. Whatever you are thinking of, I think Kalai is just a step ahead of it. So I'd like you to let me go back to the Think Kalai page and uh, let me see if anyone has any questions. So, again, everyone, this is a uh, uh, Think Kalai school management software, and we just looked at how to use. Uh, this software, how to set it up, how to add uh, data, and all of that. Is anybody having any question? So again, if you need the sign up link, talk to us. We're going to send it to you. Uh, uh, if you need any other thing on Thinkalai, we will send it to you. Once again, this is the School Owners Forum. 
Nigeria's largest training network of school owners, of teachers, of education stakeholders, of everyone generally. And I'm David Adeniji, by the grace of God, convener of the school owners from the next class you know this is part one this is only part one of the of the think ally usage you know the next one uh all right all right we have talked about other features in think ally of course we have talked about all other many other features is it uh uh, uh assignment uh, online exam cbt bulk sms accounting timetable i mean what have you just name it e-learning everything is included in thin color let me see if i can take one or two questions somebody said so what is the reason why uh we have decided to give this for free <laughs> you see the reason why we have decided to give this for free is sometimes a lot of us think that when we talk to schools they say we have i have a school management software i have it you you may because you are not an ict person you are not into software you may think you have a good school management software when as a matter of fact that there are softwares that have gone way ahead so the reason that's the reason why we have to give this for free you know uh because we we have so many users and we just want the uses to be easy for you you know we want the users to be very easy for you we'd like you to chat us up and see uh of course there are premium there are premium features that uh that we, if you if you if we have to talk about them we will talk about them just let us know and if you have any other questions apart from this uh, any other questions apart from this please check out my phone number here look at it it's on the screen right now or on the screen by the bottom uh by the bottom left you see the phone number you just pick it up and then you talk to us and we will solve all questions we answer all questions i try to register parents after which I filled the details and also submitted, but it asked me to subscribe uh, to more. Mm -hmm -hmm. How come? Don't worry. Chat us. Uh, are you on the? Are you on the WhatsApp chat? Are you on the? Uh, have you seen the what? Have you? If you are on the WhatsApp chat, or let my admin, somebody on online, drop uh, my contacts there so that uh, you can uh, tap that phone number and ask your question properly. You know, so that we will, we will. We will. There, there are some premium features that uh, perhaps you need to talk to us, uh, and I will look at, show you how to go about using it effectively. Uh, I wanted to say hallelujah. Of course, we can say that. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. All right. So we have come to the end of the. I'm waiting if there's another question, and if there is not, uh, I'm David Adeniji by the grace of God, convener. Uh, of the school owners from. Let us meet again next week. Bye for now.